everyone. So one of my most popular videos on this YouTube channel is when I talk about posture and how to sit for the artist, because as you all know, if you spend any time hunched over a drawing, like I do all the time, you wind up with bad posture. So I'm here in my uh, workout clothes to show you some stretches and exercises that I do and I don't do. Sometimes I don't do these exercises. So I'm actually going to show you what I look like when I don't do them and what I look like when I do do them. So it really shifts how I'm able to hold my entire frame, um, which then impacts how much pain I feel, how much stamina I have when I'm drawing and working with students. And, um, you know, like even things like it winds up controlling certain things like whether or not I have better control over my hand. So um, these are really important things. I wish I had known about them when I was younger because I would have tried to incorporate this into my practice much sooner than I did. And I want you to know that it's a habit that you can easily fall out of. I have fallen out of it in the last few months. So you're going to see my before and after and see the impact that it has. So let's take a look at some of these stretches and exercises, and I hope they'll make you just feel less pain. That's really the goal. You want to be able to keep drawing and feel less pain. So let's delve right into some of the exercises that I should do every day. But first, what I'm going to show you is what my posture looks like. It's really bad. It's really embarrassing. I have not been doing these exercises for multiple months. I had surgery um, the end, well, not even the end of 2021. <laughs> I had surgery in 2021 and I have not been doing these exercises since. So what happens is I'm spending time working on the computer, on my drawing desk, and I'm oftentimes slouching, sitting with bad posture, not following my own uh, understanding of what I need to do for my back because I'm lazy, I'm human, I just fall into it. And so I have to really be disciplined and force myself to sit with the posture that I showed you guys in this other video um, on posture. But <laughs> I also need to do these stretches and exercises. So when I don't, what you're going to see, this is my left side. Do you see how my shoulder is just rounded in? Now I'm trying to put my shoulders back. And what happens is when I stand, they still round in. This is my drawing arm. I'm right-handed. So probably this one will be a little bit more exaggerated. I can try my best to pin my shoulders back, but because I haven't been doing my stretches, what happens is this whole clavicle area, my neck in the front get really tight because what I'm doing is I'm sitting with some lean and rotation, compressing these muscles, which make them shorter. So I have to do these stretches in order to make them wider, longer, stretched out, so that then when I do them and the other exercises that I'm going to show you, then I don't have to hold my shoulders back and pin them back. Instead, what happens is these muscles actually hold them back and these muscles don't contract forward quite as much. So the first thing that I'm going to do is a stretch. So I'm going to face the wall I kind of put my toes up against the wall and I pin my shoulder to the wall and I want my arm to be totally stretched out. And then I'm just going to sort of rotate and fold my body back as far as I can. Now, this is not very far for me because I haven't been doing my exercises. So hopefully you'll see a difference. I'm going to shoot my posture next week so you can see what happens after a week. And hopefully after a week, I'm going to be able to rotate this a little bit more. The other one I'm going to do is bend my arm and do that same thing. So that kind of stretches my pec muscle just a little bit more. You can see I'm out of breath, just I'm stretching. It's kind of sad, um, but I have not been doing these. So stretching and talking can be kind of difficult. So another way that you can do this is lie on the floor and rotate your body. Okay, so those same exercises that I just did on the wall, let's also do those on the floor. So what I'm going to do is stretch my arm out. If I can't, like I don't have enough space here. What I'm going to do is bend my arm and rotate. So I want my shoulder to be resting on the ground 
and I want to push off with my other arm and rotate my whole body. This is going to be stretching this front part of my body back. And then I'm going to do that the same. Right? I'm trying not to roll over on my microphone here in this direction. And you can also do it. It's a lot tougher for me when I do this with a bent arm. I'm a lot tighter with the bent arm. Okay, so that's the same exercise that I did on the wall, except here you're working against gravity, so it's a little bit different. It's, it's going to stretch you a little bit more. You're going to see where you're tighter. The next thing I'm going to do is use a foam roller. And this is just a lying down stretch. Now, it would be better if it were a little bit longer so I could fit my whole body on it. But what I'm going to do is put it underneath, lie with my spine aligned to it, let my neck fall back, and I just want my arms to rest here, here, and here, and sit for several minutes in each position so that this is forcing gravity to let this stretch out. You can see I can barely talk in this position, so it's actually really stretching. And so that is just a very passive sitting stretch that you can do that will help to balance out all the hunching over that you do when you're drawing. Okay, so I've shown you guys the stretches that I do and that sort of to deal with this contraction that I have here, but I, and you know, that helps me to expand here. But what I also need to do is strengthen or contract in the back so that that helps me to sit more upright after hunching over. I really need to not hunch, but it's a problem. You all know it's very difficult to draw and not hunch to get your eyes closer to the page. So anyways, I'm going to show you the exercises that I do to strengthen my back. And then what I'm going to show you is that after a week of doing these, after I haven't been doing these for several months, you're going to see a difference in just how much I can hold my shoulders back naturally without effort because of these exercises. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get like an over the door hook or hanger. Like this is something that you might hang your towel on in the bathroom or a bathroom. And so it just hooks over the door and then you want some exercise bands. The red one is an easy one. This yellow one is a medium one, or maybe it's a hard, I don't remember. So I use them both <laughs> with um, the easy one. What I'm going to do is wrap it around my hands like this, and then I'm going to pull back from the door. I'm tightening my stomach muscles so that I am using my core strength. And then what I'm going to do is pull these back at an angle and you're going to see my shoulder blades are contracting together. And what's going to happen for me is that I usually do about 50 of these in a row. You'll see that there's going to be some, like it's almost like these muscles in the back here are kind of locked when I first start. And as I go, they kind of warm up and loosen up and have more movement. And it's just because I'm not usually using them when I'm drawing and that's what I'm doing most of the day. Okay, so that's one example. You can then go to your harder bands if you want. These are a little bit harder for me to wrap around. I have to stand closer to the door and see if you can do some reps with that. And then I'm going to do another position to show you where I'm just pulling down. So let's switch to that. So for this one, I'm going to put one knee against the door because that way I can really control the distance that I am. I'm still going to wrap my hands around the band and then I want my arms to be like a fork. And then all I'm going to do is pull down. I'll usually do about 25 reps on one side and then switch knees so that I'm balanced. And you want to try to keep your hands at the same level. Like you don't want one arm going down first and the other one 
coming down partially or like crooked or like pulling in forward. You want to really try to make that T and keep going. And so again, with those, I usually do about 50 reps. I try to do it in the morning at night or there are months and months and months where I don't do it and I need to get back on track. So you all are helping me get back on track. Next, I'm going to show you what I look like after a week of doing these. Hey everyone, so as promised, uh, almost a week has gone by. The last part of this video was filmed on a Tuesday. This is a Monday. So I have to confess, I did not do exercises that Tuesday. I think I skipped another day or two in there. Um, but I've been doing the exercises that I demonstrated in this video and I want to show you the difference in my posture. Now, posture is, you know, people can fool you on camera. They can like hold their posture much differently. What I'm going to show you is my relaxed posture where I'm not tensing any muscles. And so what you should be able to see is that last week, because I hadn't been doing my exercises for months because of my surgery, I had more of a roundedness to my shoulders. Today, I'm able to stand here without tensing, without clenching my muscles, and I should look a little bit less rounded, just particularly here. The shoulder blade actually sits back into the muscles a little bit when I'm doing my exercises, and I notice a lot of difference with the amount of pain that I have at the end of the day, especially. So usually my right side is a little bit more rounded than my left, but I noticed that when I was doing the stretches this week, for some reason, my left side is really kind of out of whack a little bit. Something's a lot tighter on that side and I'm not sure why. So the challenging thing about a body is that it changes over time. Different parts of it hurt at different times. You don't know why necessarily, but hopefully giving you these exercises and these stretches are things that you can do to really try to accommodate your needs when you're sitting and drawing for hours and hours and hours a day like i am i would say these exercises are also good if you're just sitting at the computer all day so um, hopefully these will help you out will help you feel less pain and help your posture so that you can keep drawing for years to come